I'm here on the floor of the Traders Expo with John Person. We're talking about the recent rally and under light volume, the indicators he's using today to find good opportunities. So John, we have had a rally here in the first part of 2012 and it's been on light volume. So what kind of indicators are you using to try and find good trades? Well, actually, the, the volume started to pick up a little bit in, in February. January was just like, you know, just this slow grind higher. So I think a lot of people were looking for a January break. Everyone's looking for this correction in the stock market. We've seen, you know, year to date, we're up pretty healthy. Um, one of the tools that I think, it, and it's happened many times in, let's say, the last five years, it happened in gold, it happened in the rally that we saw in 09, that no one believed the stock market rally because it was on declining volume or it wasn't significant volume. You didn't see the trend was rising and it wasn't accommodating with, with an increase in volume. There's a technical tool that was developed 30, 40 years ago by Joe Granville on balance volume. And instead of just measuring the, the change of volume uh, overall, what it does is it, it helps to track the volume on when the days are up and against days are down. And you can actually price, look at this and chart this indicator like a price chart so that you can see higher highs, higher lows, and you can see trend line breaks or breakouts. So that tool actually has been um, participating in an increase in rally, except for one sector, and that was technology so far. All right, so let's talk about that on balance volume on the, a time frame. Is it a specific time frame that you like to use this on? Uh, actually, we use that for even intraday day trading. You use it on a daily basis. And uh, I like to compare for swing and position trading daily against weekly. So those two time frames tend to mesh very well. All right, and how about the markets that you use this on? Stock market primarily? E-mini S&Ps, stocks, individual stocks, ETFs. All right, and how about position size? Does it tell you anything about the size you should be putting on at these prices? Well, no, it, it, it tracks volume on up versus down days. Kind of like uh, looking at a, instead of looking at an advanced decline, where you'd look at up days, down days, or stocks that are up versus down. This tracks volume, and, and I think what uh, position is in a whole nother subject, and, and I think when prices start to get lofty, there's two rules of thumb I think all traders adhere to. Uh, or more, most longevity type traders. A, when volatility has increased, you reduce your lot size. And when price appreciation is started to outpace its norm, uh, then you want to reduce your lot size. On balance, balance volume available on most trading platforms these days? Absolutely, yes. Okay. I, it's not a tool that you have to buy any special software. I believe every single brokerage firm, every single platform has on balance volume already in it. And the symbol is OBV. It might not say on balance volume, it's just OBV. John, thanks for your time. Excellent, thanks, Tim. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.